Welcome to Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Title Town, some call it, a moniker that many claim, but this city lives thanks to the Alabama Crimson Tide. Today, we have one of those games that tests your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a squad from the AAC, the South Florida Bulls, taking on the sixth ranked team in the land, the Alabama Crimson Tide. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Alabama about to kick off to get this game underway. He'll bring it out. It's Alexis. And the ball's free deep in his own territory. A rather inauspicious start, but a golden opportunity after the turnover. You just can't have that happen if you're on the return team. You know if you lose the football now, you're giving the other offense the ball back deep in your own end. Simply can't happen. Tips, deflections, those are such good things for defense. A lot of times they lead to interceptions and big plays. Just try to get any kind of disruption you can. After the quarterback and receiver couldn't connect, it's second and ten. He'll put the tight end in motion. The give is to Miller. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. I think tackling is about effort most of the time. It's about how much passion, how much physicality you can bring to get your guy on the ground. Refuse not to get him on the ground. That's not a big back. you got to get that guy on the ground. You can't let him pick up an extra couple yards and stay ahead of the sticks. To the air. It's Milrow. Fires into the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Crimson Tide! Well, just as you would expect, that didn't take very long. It didn't, Reese, and you've got to make great field position count. When you've got opportunities, you got to pay it off. And the offense took advantage, scoring a touchdown. Didn't have far to go, but they got the points they needed. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So USF's offense will take the field for the first time. And a big key as this game unfolds is just how aggressive will he be throwing the football in a lockdown corner like that. Yeah, and when you're an elite quarterback, you think you can do whatever you want to do. And you think you can make the right decisions. I'm interested to see how much he'll test that cornerback on the other side. You know, there's a saying, there's no defense for a perfect pass, but he's got to be extra careful and sharp when he's throwing that guy's way. The Bulls moving quickly to the line. On the ground, it's Lamb. Picks up the first down. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. He's got an open man. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give them a first down. Last couple of plays, the offense seems to be just one step ahead, David. Yeah, and I'm going to have to do something to disrupt the timing, the rhythm. i got to do something that they're not expecting, because right now they got the run and they got the pass working. So this defense, we have to find something new to kind of confuse this offense. 
Hand off from the gun. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Movement here from the tight end. From the gun, running back gets to give. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Great team defense on that run play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Brown wants to pass. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. And the defense got it. Right down the gun of the field. Touchdown, Bama. And the defense doing work. What a big-time play for the defense. Not only forcing the fumble, but scooping it up, taking it all the way to the house. That's how you change the momentum of a football game. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point makes it 14-0. The scoop and score. What a lift it can give to the defense. Not content to get the ball. They wanted to do something with it, and they did. They're just about to kick it off after that scoop and score six. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. South Florida has it back, and the Bulls' offense will return to the field. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Finds that crease, and he's got four out to the 29. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. The give to the tailback. Pretty good job of running to get two there to the 32. And the Bulls are in the hurry up. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. Not a whole lot of room to run. Let's give him a couple. The Bulls will call on their punt team. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Here's the fair catch, and he'll make it close to the 20-yard line. The tied offense rolls onto the field. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Gets it past the marker. And an explosive play. Has him on the move, and he gets it all the way to the 48-yard line. I love that play call, and I love the timing of the pre-snap motion. Because the quarterback was able to get it to the receiver right behind the offensive line, because of the timing, he was able to outflank the defense. That puts him out in space where he's able to use his speed. Nice job with the pre-snap motion and timing. Miller with the ball. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out.
Here comes the offense on second down. Leaves it with the back. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. Really good looking run. You know, you think about the legacy Alabama has at the running back position. It's ridiculous. Mark Ingram won a Heisman, obviously. Derrick Henry, Josh Jacobs. I'm going to go back to Sean Alexander, who I played against back in the day, too. All these guys had speed. All these guys had vision and quickness. And this guy right here, he has all of those traits himself. Just another big-time talent in the Crimson Tide backfield. And he's stuffed by that big defensive tackle up front. That's a really good stop by the defense. Jesse, they need a few more. You've given up a bunch of yards on this drive and a bunch of plays, but all that matters is keeping them off the scoreboard. Yeah, it's that bend-don't-break mentality you're seeing right now, and this is the point where this defense has just got to lock in. Looking downfield, it's Milrow. Going to try to pop one on the screen. Nice move to keep running. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. That was just a perfectly choreographed screen. The line got out on time. The running back had a wall in front of him. And I think the quarterback did a really good job of selling pass and then kind of dodging the pass rush, getting it to the running back, and then let him do the rest. You got him in space, he'll pick up yards in a hurry. They're trying to get to him. And he just flat dropped it. I think he wanted to run before he secured it. That's one the running back would like to have back. He's a good enough player, and he's a complete enough running back to be able to make that play. That's why they like throwing him angle routes like that right there. Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw. Wide open downfield. That completion will take them inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. This offense has become a first-down machine, and that is so demoralizing for the defense, especially for those star players that are playing tons of snaps. They're not subbing out as much. By the fourth quarter, they are going to be gassed. Turning to the running game on first and goal. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They're trying to run the football. And there's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TFL. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. They move the tight end all over. The play action fake. Makes the grab. And they're able to get him down. And I think you're seeing these guys in every offense now. These littler guys, that they're so quick, it's hard to get a hand on them. Run crisp routes. You can throw it short. You can throw it long. But they're just big-time playmakers. You've definitely seen an emphasis shift towards smaller wide receivers with some serious skill. Quick pass on the jet motion. And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. And this offense right now, they're doing some damage through the air. That's now their second passing touchdown. They thought coming into this game, they were going to have some matchups on the perimeter of the field that they could take advantage of. And they've done that so far here today. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, they're up 21 to nothing. They march 78 yards down the field. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. South Florida ready to send the offense back onto the field. From the gun, they'll try the middle. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That defense is about getting off the football. And when that defensive line can be disruptive and get in the backfield right away and mess up those pullers' actions on those counter plays, it can be really advantageous for the defense. Great job by the defense being hyperactive. And the Bulls will hustle to the line.
Back to the ground with the running back. They'll knock him down after a pickup of one to the 18. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Brown will throw it. Unloads to the wideout. And they won't be able to connect downfield looking for a big-time play. That's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down. You set up third and longs like that. You can show your exotic looks. You can get the pass rush going. Everybody in the back end expecting throw. And that's how you force incompletions and force fourth downs. The Bulls will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Surprisingly makes a fair catch just outside the 40-yard line. Here comes that Alabama offense. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. But it was a nice job in play calling, too, David, just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. Now it's a first down from the 43-yard line. He's looking to throw it. Going downfield for the big play. It's a big stride inside the 10. Touchdown tie. And once he got away from the D, they had no shot at catching him. You know, sometimes as a play caller, you just don't have to overthink things. I've got a guy who's faster than your guys, and he's just going to run straight down the field. I'm going to throw it way down the field. He's going to make the catch, and we're going to score a touchdown. And that's... Pretty much what just happened there. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. The kickoff team out there getting set. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. South Florida has it back, and the Bulls' offense will return to the field. Going up top on first down. Makes the catch. It's Simmons. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Got some of the work done on first. Now let's see what they have on second down. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. They'll knock him down after a six-yard gain to the 27. And a nice job by the running back finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Fairly manageable distance here on third down from the 27. Defense a little too jumpy there, and they got into the neutral zone too soon. So the offense accepts a penalty, and they'll get a little farther away from their own end zone. Looking for a crease. It's Lamb. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. Now the play fake. Steps to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. You know, one of the tricky parts with play action for a quarterback is that when you turn your back to the defense to sell the play fake, you have no idea what's going on behind you. You don't know what the coverage has become, and you don't know which D linemen have won their one-on-ones. The worst thing is you turn around after the play fake, and bam, that defender's right in your face. 
If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Leaves it with the back. And there were some collisions in there, and the D finally stops him short of the marker. And the Bulls will punt it away on fourth down. The fair catch called for and made. The tied offense rolls onto the field. They'll run the RPO and fire to the right. Still running at the 40. And a pickup of better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. This could be a pivotal moment in this game as we open the second period and they try to find a way to answer. Grabbed in the middle, it's Hamilton. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Yeah, and you throw a little hitch route. Nice job getting the ball out of his hands quickly. Wide receiver, quarterback. Nice job being on the same page. Nice completion, nice catch. Now on second down. From the gun, the ground game. Brought down at the 32-yard line. Picks up 15 yards on the play and an important first down. You ain't getting by all these guys right up the middle unless your offensive line and your tight ends and everybody is putting in the work up front, committing to blocking. The running back does a great job finding the hole, exploding through. How about that nice, big, huge game? If I'm the OC, let's call that one again. Back to pass, it's Milrow. He's going to fire deep. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. And once he got loose, it was all over. A lot of times you see those receivers, as soon as they get by the DBs, you know, that hand goes straight up in the air. I got him. I got a step on him. He got a step on him, and the ball was thrown perfectly out in front. And you could see he runs underneath it, gets it, and gets the long touchdown on the go route. PAT unit on the field. And they tack on the extra point for a 35-0 lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they cap it off with a 32-yard touchdown pass. They're lining up to boot it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. South Florida ready to send the offense back onto the field. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there. you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They've got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. Quick pass on the fly motion. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. Well, I love the aggressive nature of the defense on that play. Everybody playing with eye discipline. They saw the pre-snap motion. They knew who had the football. And you saw guys play with excellent instinct, running downhill and making a tackle. They come to the line, facing third and long from the 25. Brown wants to pass. And this is going to be incomplete on third. Yeah, and third and long, everybody is pinning their ears back and coming after the quarterback. You try to throw screens behind those. Sometimes they're very successful, but this time, defense played it great, and the play went nowhere. 
The Bulls will punt this one away. He's got great speed. The coverage team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. Here comes that Alabama offense. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been... Got a lot of running room. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. From the shotgun, the inside give. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. I know the passing game sells and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards a pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. That has got to be demoralizing if you're on defense because they just ran the ball right up the middle, down your throats, and they gashed you. Alabama with a first and ten here. Caught in the backfield, it's Hamilton. That completion will take it close to the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the six. The thing I like about this slot receiver, he's really intentional in his route running. The quarterback always knows exactly where he's going to be on the field. They've got great chemistry together. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Motion from the offense. Touch pass on the run. Touchdown, Bama! And they take it in for six more points. Have a day, young fella. I foresee some social media posts in his future. Not one, not two, but three receiving touchdowns on the day. What a ball game. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage and he'll be stopped at the 17. South Florida has it back, and the Bulls' offense will return to the field. He'll do it himself. Good pickup on that play. It'll bring up second and four. This offense is really going to try to keep the defense on their heels in the run game by doing it with different guys. It'll be running backs. It'll be quarterbacks. They may even try to get receivers involved in the jet sweep game, reverse game as well. But a nice play there. After a good pickup on the run, it's second down. Quick touch pass to the receiver. Great move there. Really good job to pick up a chunk of yardage and get it out to the 39-yard line. This offense has a lot of different ways they can attack you, and you're going to see the entire playbook at work in this game. Throwing it, running it, and getting guys the ball out on the perimeter. Great job. They'll snap it from the 39, first and 10. They'll run it from the gun. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. And now it's just going to be a passing game. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. 
This offense has a second down play. Here's the handoff. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. They're about to wear this punter out. He's already been out four times, staring at a fifth if they can't move the chains. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting upfield. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. And the Bulls decide to punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today. And no doubt he's going to earn his varsity letter. The tied offense rolls onto the field. Running to the left. Nice move to stay on his feet. Just a savvy, veteran, productive run from this junior. Wow, the running back there showing you his skill set as he's able to rip off that one for a first down. And here on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. Wide out in motion. They'll try to outflank him with the jet sweep. And that's great defense to stop him short of the first down. It's so hard with a guy that fast to create the right angles, to make sure I keep the ball inside, and then everybody's got to run to the football. Great job by the defense. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. They'll try the run. Oh, they're not get free. Well, the offense looks as if they fell on the fumble, and they'll keep the ball. Good awareness by the offense. You never want to see the ball on the ground, but a nice job understanding to just kind of jump on it and make sure you keep possession. The Crimson Tide comes to the line with the first and ten. He's going to pass. Fires to the right. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? You know, the defense just hasn't seemed to quite have an answer. They've come close to interceptions like that one there, but they haven't registered any so far. They've given up a few touchdown passes. They're just not quite able to make the plays they need to against the pass in this game. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Well, jet sweep pass. Pass the first down marker and still running. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. Yeah, and, and way to be creative. Way to get the ball in the perimeter really quickly. Get some speed outside. All you got to do is secure that edge, and you're just trying to get that first down. Nice job. Nice play call by the offense. From the 47-yard line on first and 10. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Trips left, one wide receiver to the right on second and nine. Catch in the middle, it's Hamilton. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. The give is to Miller. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game, running the football. Now facing a third and long. To the air, it's Milrow. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Well, on offense, no doubt, right? You've had success. You're throwing some tutties. Why not keep throwing it? They're going to keep being aggressive. You're going to have to do a better job, though, keeping this quarterback standing up. Looks as if the Tide will punt it away. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. 
And it looks as if this one's going to carry into the end zone for a touchback. South Florida ready to send the offense back onto the field. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Playing defensive back, to me, is one of the hardest things to do in all of sports. You've got to be able to run with a world-class athlete who knows where he's going. You have no idea. You can't interfere with him. You can't touch him or it's pass interference. That DB right there did an incredible job. Quarterback on the keeper. Oh, it's a fumble. Defense covering it up and not letting the offense get it back. It's a turnover. Oh, and it's a hit like that that will absolutely light up the sideline, light up the stadium, change the momentum, and help you win a football game because that hit is what caused that fumble. Here comes that Alabama offense. You get field position like this, and you're not likely to punt the way they did the last time they had the ball. Yeah, great job by the defense, setting them up in an opportunity to get some points on the board quickly. This is an opportunity you've got to capitalize on this field position. You must come away with points here if you're on offense. And these touch passes, it's so hard because there's always action off of it, right? If I fake this pass. I can run it up the gut or I can throw it and I just spread me out and make me defend so many things. And you could tell they got on the edge quickly, got the big first down. Alabama comes to the line with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. Now on second and goal. On the option. He'll pitch it. Just hammer it with this running back again, and he noses his way into the end zone. If these guys wanted to make a statement, statement has been delivered. It's your job to stop them. Oh, don't run the score up. Well, do something about it. The defense has to step up and make plays. Obviously, they're not willing to do that, so just keep running plays and keep scoring. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. The kickoff unit about to go to work. Here he comes with the return. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. From the gun, running back on the move. Stacked up after gaining a couple to the 23. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Brown will throw it. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, try to convert through the air. That's caught. It's Atkins. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. The Bulls will try to pin them back with the punt. No return coming here. Fair catch is signal for and made just shy of the 30. The tied offense rolls onto the field. 
He wants to start this drive with a pass. Nice quick throw there. It's so important for quarterbacks to be able to find a rhythm and to be comfortable and confident. You want to just get the ball out quickly, make it an accurate and easy throw. And you can tell that these two guys, they rep that play in practice all the time, and it's now showing up here on game day. Completion a little short of the sticks. It's second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the big fella. He stopped at the 49 after gaining 10. And this junior loves to show off that big arm. And after that pitch and catch, he's already over 200 yards, and we're in the first half, Jesse. Man, Reese, he's dialed in right now. He's really doing a nice job seeing the field, reading coverages, and finding his open guy. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Catch in the middle. It's Prentice. They ripped off a big one, and they get it down to the 27. And he just continues to put up numbers, and that number is now over 300. This guy just throws completions, man. The ball doesn't seem to touch the ground. He's back there. He's making the right reads. Right now, he is locked into what this defense is trying to do. And the Bulls will kick it off to start the second half. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Makes a move. He just about popped that one for a long one, but as it is, he gives his team a lot of momentum with a solid return. Starting this third quarter on the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. No doubt, offense wants to keep running the football to win this game, but I'm wondering if they're starting to go to the well too often. they got to start showing some new wrinkles here in the second half. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Hand off from the shotgun. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. The D thinking bring some heat on third and long from the 44. Looking downfield, it's Milrow. Fires to the right. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. That is a good omen for this defense. They were getting lit up in the first half. They knew something had to change. So to set the tone like this early on their opening drive of the third quarter and get a stop on third, that should really help their confidence. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the punt hits at the eight and goes into the end zone for the touchback. South Florida has it back, and the Bulls' offense will return to the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Palmer. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Wide receiver shows motion. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. Finds a little bit of space, gets three to the 22. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. Yeah, and on money down defensively, you've got to find ways to affect the quarterback. Nice job by the defense getting the pressure, getting to him, getting a hit on him, and forcing the incompletion, and now forcing the fourth down. The Bulls will send out the punt unit. 
He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. Here comes that Alabama offense. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. Second down coming up. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. They'll run the option. He'll toss it. At the 40, there he goes. And a big play there on the option. The pitch was executed perfectly. Every time he touches the ball, you can feel the excitement from this home crowd because Palmer, he can go the distance with that game-breaking speed. You're right, David. He's a special talent. I'll tell you, these fans, they come here to see this guy play because he has game-breaking speed. Stuff you can't coach, you saw it on that play. The Tide with the first and ten. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Really good job by the defense seeing it and going and getting it. Nice job understanding the touch pass. It could happen. Those guys go in motion, man. I got to understand, safety's got to see that, start flying down, getting ready to play that. Nice job by the defense being ready for that play. Operating in the red zone here on second down. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Able to pick up a couple before he's knocked down. They mark it at the 10. This is a tough one. A third and long from this part of the field. They can, though, pick up the first down. To the air. It's Milrow. Let's it fly. Touchdown, Alabama! And the stomping has commenced. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being carved. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. we got to figure something out. we got to try to do something a little bit different, bring more pressure. At this right shoot, he's on so much fire, you might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody, live with the results, because everything else ain't working anyways. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. South Florida ready to send the offense back onto the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. He sends three receivers right, maybe looking for man coverage on the left on second and five. Trying play action. Looking down the middle. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. Well, they execute the in route. Now, how about the arm strength by the QB? That was an absolute bullet on that completion. Here comes the offense on first and 10 from the 47. Looking to move it through the air. 
A strike downfield. Dragged down at the 43, but it's a pickup of 10 on that one. Really nice job there by the quarterback understanding it's blitz, and not just that it's blitz, but knowing whether it's man coverage or zone coverage behind the blitz. You've still got to know where your answer is going to be based on what the defense is doing in the back end, and he add the answer to the test right there. They'll put the tight end in motion. The give out of the gun. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. It's amazing how play by a defensive end in the backfield can really swing the momentum not only of a series but of a game sometimes. All you're trying to do is create negative plays, to get them behind the sticks a little bit, to get those sacks, to get those tackles for losses. You see so much stunting in college football up front with the defensive line because you know once you get one of those plays, you got the offense right where you are. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Brown wants to pass. Turns it loose deep. Catch and stride inside the 15. Touchdown, South Florida. That is the ultimate grab and go for the score. Wait, can, can I get the director to give me a replay of that? I want to count the defenders. At one, two, three. I mean, there's no way they had 11, right? Yeah. I mean, that, that is frustrating. Defensively, what are you taught? Like, make them earn it, right? Play, play man. Press up on them. Make them earn it. Make them go the length of the field. Don't give up big plays or just give up big plays and don't have anybody in the camera shot and don't have anybody there to even miss a tackle. On to attempt the try. Bangs it through for an extra point. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they close the deal from 43 yards out with a touchdown pass. They're just about ready to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The tied offense rolls onto the field. Fast motion from the offense. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. They stay aggressive and push their way out to the 33 and it's first down. It's so important this offense is able to get this guy the ball in space, especially on the perimeter of the field. And I love that last play call because he's able to get outside and use his speed. To me, that's where this guy is most dangerous. And this set of downs gets started from the 33, first and 10. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. Spreads out four receivers, trips right, a single receiver to the left on second and seven. They'll run it from the gun. And he gets it to the 45-yard line, and that'll be a first down. How nice is it as a play caller when you've got a running back as good as this guy, right? I mean, you can just dial up conservative run calls. Nothing has to be too tricky, too fancy. You just know he's going to go make good things happen. Even when it's not blocked properly, he is still finding ways to rip off long runs. This guy now has over 150 yards rushing in the game. Doesn't look like he's slowing down, guys. And he'll be run out of bounds, and these guys are piling up some serious yardage totals. It's so hard for a defense to have to stop plays like that because it really forces you to play with great eye discipline. You see the pre-snap motion. Defense doesn't know if he's just running across the field and is going to run a route, if he's going to block, or if he has the football. That time, he was able to outflank the defense and hurt them to get that first down. Back to throw. It's Milrow. Moving, keeping the eyes downfield. And he was able to run through one tackle, but still only a modest gain. 
Well, you're making a positive out of a negative. And that time, quarterback, nice job buying time. He's trying to throw the football downfield. Nothing there. So instead of throwing it away and getting the incomplete, just get what you can get and make this next down more manageable. And now on second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. Fires to the big fella. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? You know, David, this is really what game managing is. Nice pickup on second down to help them on the next play. Yeah, and I think people look at that negative sometimes, finding a quarterback that's a game manager. No, use your brain. Set up good situations. I'm, I'm way more successful when I can keep those sticks in a more manageable situation, and I'm not as predictable on a third down. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, he couldn't find any running room at all, and he'll end up taking a loss on the play. Yeah, great discipline on defense, too, because if you're going to stop the option, you have to play assignment football. Everybody doing their job. There was just nowhere to go there for the QB. So they'll send out the field goal unit. This is not a straight-on kick, a 42-yarder from the right hatch. Right down the boulevard. It's good. Well, that's just piling on. Not the penalty kind, just the mean kind. That lead just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. This should be the last play of the quarter. They'll run the RPO and throw it right. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. Big catches, big plays, tons of yards through three quarters for these two guys. So will the beatdown continue or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. Brown will throw it. Fires to the middle. Got his man downfield. And the explosiveness, the big gainer, gets it to the 49-yard line. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. Gets away. Quickly complete. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. I love the anticipation on that throw by the QB on the out route. you got to throw it before the receiver comes out of his break. Nice work. That last completion sets him up on second down. Off play action. Strong pass rush gets to the quarterback, and they get him at the 46. And as a defense, a lot of times you're coming into the game and you're just trying to limit the damage when you play a really great quarterback. And they've done more than that today. They have dominated this football game. The offense has carried their weight, and this is looking like a great outcome. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. He's going for the big play. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. you got a great game plan all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but... They're just not able to hook up. You've got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are. Here comes that Alabama offense. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. Yeah, and I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the tempo and all the stuff they do. It was a nice job moving the football, but they got to get in the end zone this time. 
Yeah, and I think to do that, they just got to be more physical at the point of attack. Get some push up front. They need to be the best running team in this game to win. Line getting set on second down. They'll leave it with him. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here late. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. They're going to ride this running back. Got the first down and more. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good gain. And this is exactly what you want to do when you're on offense. You have the lead. You want to chew the clock, keep the ball on the ground, keep that thing just ticking, Palmer. They're just imposing their will, Dave, and that's something that we've seen, I think, all game. Up front, they've been the more physical team. They're the ones that's getting push and that's getting movement, and it's carrying over all the way here deep into the fourth quarter. And a decent gain there before the defense makes a stop. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. You just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for you. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Motion from the offense. Out of the gun, the give to the back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Third down after the run. They'll try to bully their way for the first. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. And David, how demoralizing does it have to be for a defense when you know they're going to run it, everyone in the stadium knows they're going to run it, and still you cannot stop them? There is nothing more demoralizing as a defensive lineman because... It just, it ticks you off. It gets in your head. You, you know that guy's going to come off and smack you, and you got to do something about it. I think the defense may be time to start committing more guys to stopping that run, not worrying about the pass as much. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. Now they'll run it to the right here. Breaks a tackle and he's got, just keeps moving. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Man, sometimes it just gets frustrating. And you've just been beat down all day. This defense hasn't had answers. But now you can't let them run the football and just run it down your throat and be physical. This defense has to do something different and find a way to make something happen. Alabama comes to the line with first and ten. He wants to throw. Caught on the outside, it's Prentice. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. And you see on that play the confidence that he has in that playmaker on the perimeter of the field. He's already had a couple catches in this game. It seems like he's always open. And right there, nice job fitting that football into a small space and great awareness by the receiver getting his feet down in bounds. Looking to throw, it's Milrow. It's incomplete. He was shooting for the end zone right there. Good job in coverage defending their own end zone there because you're trying to compress these windows and make it tough for the quarterback, and they were able to tip that one up in the air, and obviously it falls incomplete. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. From the gun, wants to pass. He's got touchdown time. And the punishment has been extended. And this always is the debate of where you fall. It's your job to stop me or I should get conserved because this offense obviously has had themselves a day. And apparently, their day's not over. They're going to continue to keep scoring, and the defense better do something about it.
Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They put together an 81-yard drive, and they finish things off with an 8-yard toss for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it out. Bring in the heat. South Florida has it back, and the Bulls' offense will return to the field. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. On second and 10, a four wide out set trips right. Brown wants to pass. Getting some heat. And down he goes back at the three. And it's simply been that kind of day for this offense. They've had so many struggles. And at this point in the fourth quarter, you're trailing by a ton of points. The defense knows you're throwing it. And they're pinning their ears back. And they're getting after you, as you saw it on that sack there. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. To the ground with the back. You just can't go backwards. There he did, and they swarmed him for a safety. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. So after that safety, they'll kick it away from their own 20. He'll bring it back. It's Bernard. They finally get him stopped after he maneuvered his way to the 42. The tied offense rolls onto the field. There wasn't much need to throw it around on that last drive for the touchdown, Jesse. They got it done running the ball. And David, I don't think you have to overthink this thing. If they can't stop you running it, why would you stop handing it off? Just keep at it here on this drive. Well, and if I'm the defense, I'm making some changes. I'm bringing in more big bodies. I'm playing more aggressive towards the line of scrimmage. I am not going to let them have that kind of drive again. Let's see what they've got on second down. Wide out in motion. Little touch pass to the receiver. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Line is set on third down. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. Gets it all the way down to the 39-yard line. It'll be a first down. Big reason why his team has the lead right now late is because of his performance running the football. Well over 100 yards in this game. They knew that they were going to have to really put a lot of pressure on him. He'd have to shoulder the load, and he has delivered for his offense all game long. They'll ride the hot hand. He has the first and still on his feet. Knocked down at the 24-yard line, but it's a big game. 15 yards on the play, and this offense is in business. Alabama rolling quickly downfield, set up with another first down. They'll keep it on the ground. The clock is on their side. Stop is made almost immediately, giving one to the 23. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The give to the back. Defense there to stop him at the 20. Let's give him three yards on that carry. Here they come, facing third and long from the 20.
Wide receiver coming across in motion. Right back to him on the ground. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. We've reached a two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. And he'll try to make it two for two, this time from 35 yards away. And this one splits the uprights. And they just tack on a little more to this gargantuan lead. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. Bringing it out. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. South Florida ready to send the offense back onto the field. Brown will throw it. This one has pretty much been a bludgeoning, but they'll try to finish with something positive late. Well, they ran into a buzzsaw today, and I don't think it would matter what type of X's and O's they're out there executing, David. Jimmy's and the Joe's, they just, they're just not as good as the opponent today. And, and as an athlete, it sometimes hits you in the face, and it stinks, but you're not good enough. And today, they were not good enough. And I'm going to do the best I can to try to flush this down the toilet, not remember it, forget it, move on for the next game. Maybe it's something right here I can create positive that carries over to practice and maybe next week. This offense has their work cut out for them, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. He's looking to throw. It's complete. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. It is so hard as a defender to have to stop that big fella from catching the corner route, right? He already has great size and long arms, and he can jump. So what do you do? I mean, you're not trying to create pass interference and a penalty, but that's just a size mismatch, and the offense took advantage. Got it. In the middle, it's Atkins. And this offense is going to have to find more explosive plays. And it's, it's, it can't just rely on the dink and dunk. It's going to have to find itself and score more points. Listen, they got beat up today. But moving on in the future, they've got some good pieces. they got to find a way to fit them together, create some explosive plays on this offense, because today they've been lacking. Lost to fire on second down. He looks that one in nicely. Knocked down at the 34 after a pickup of five. It's a first down. This slot receiver is a guy the defense has to be careful of. He runs good routes. He's got some speed. And if you're not careful, this guy can gash you. And the Bulls will snap it on first and 10. He's looking to throw it. Working the middle, it's complete. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. 